Hey everyone, today I wanna to tell you about my favorite planner features. Now, I've done a lot of reviews. I've seen a lot of planners out right now. All of the academic year planners have been released, so I've been to Target, Staples, Walmart, and Michaels, and as I go through the planners, I like to look at what they have, what they don't have, what would make them better. So today, I wanna to share with you what I think are some of the best features that are available in planners. The first feature that I absolutely love in a planner is a sturdy plastic cover. Now, I know that planners come with all sorts of options like leather or paper or a strong cardboard cover, but I like the plastic because I feel like it's really durable and I like that it's waterproof. You never know when you put your planner on a table or put it in your backpack if there could be water or something else, and I just feel like they hold up really well, so I love a sturdy plastic cover. The next feature that I like to have in my planner is a folder. So sometimes it's a whole folder, sometimes it's just a little half sleeve, but what I like about this is that you know that any item that you put in there isn't going to fall out no matter where you take your planner. So you might have bills or notes or post-its or whatever, but knowing that it's safe inside my planner is something that's really important to me. The third thing that I love in a planner is a lot of notes pages. So I think back to this one specific planner that I believe I found at Staples. It literally almost had a mini notebook in the back. And I love that because if you're going to use a planner over the course of a year, so much can happen. You might need to write down really important notes. You might find yourself in a meeting or out somewhere where you need to write some things down and you don't have a notebook or spare paper with you. So having those extra pages in the back of your planner is really important to me. And I like when there are a lot, every now and then you get a planner and there's like two sheets of paper and you're like, all right, I guess that, I mean, I was gonna say, I guess it'll help. It really wouldn't. I need a lot. So for me, 10 or more pages in the back of the planner, that is an absolute must have for me. The next planner option that I really love is when a monthly view has a column on that calendar page. Now I really have yet to find a monthly option or even a weekly or daily with the monthly in the front that doesn't have that column or some type of space to write. But I like to have that in case there's something big happening that month. There are a couple really important to do's that you need to write down. I, like I've mentioned in previous videos, used to put down my bills and so I would write down the bill and then when I paid it, I would put a check and when I saw it cleared from my account, I would highlight it so that I knew it was taken care of. I don't really do that anymore because I use my computer for my bills and all of that. But having that column there for whatever you might need is really important. So I think having a monthly with a column is one of my other favorite planner features. Next is good binding. Now notice I didn't say what type of binding because the truth is that I'm really open to binding as long as it's sturdy. So nothing is coming undone, seams aren't ripping, catching on things, paper is not falling out. And if it's coil or the wire type, I don't like when it gets smushed. So a really strong type of binding, regardless of what it is, is really important to help keep your planner together, especially because you're going to likely be using it for a whole year and you might be taking it with you. So you definitely want something sturdy. Next up, bright colors. I like when a planner looks like it has been printed really well and really nicely. Now, there are some great planners with some really nice neutral options. The Plum Planner has some great neutral options, but when I think of a bright color, I think of Happy Planner. When you flip through a Happy planner you're like this printing is gorgeous same with recollections same with Emily Lay her styles are a little bit more I would say toned down but still really bright I guess what I mean is simple well she has the simplified planner so that makes sense but she still has those bright pinks yellows greens blues and I just really like a planner that when you look at the page everything just pops and not to say that it looks messy or there's too much but I just like when there's a lot of color on a planner speaking of looking at those pages the next thing that's really important to me is good paper. Now, when you're writing on things, when you are using different pens, maybe you're erasing, you know, you want to make sure that it's not going to bleed through. Or even when it comes to using pencil on your planner, I have owned planners before where you erase and some of the, the print comes off. So like, let's say you're on the calendar page, you erase something. I have had it where part of the grid of the calendar comes off and it lo looks horrible. So I think having a sturdy paper, again, I love Emily Lay's paper because it smells good and it's really thick. But having a sturdy paper that you know won't bleed through, the printing looks really nice on high quality, that is probably one of my top, top, like maybe top three favorite planner features. I also really like when there is enough space to write in a weekly or a monthly layout. Now I know that some people like tiny planners, small planners that you could put 
ultimately in your pocket if you want it or your purse, but I don't like those because I really don't find them useful. I can't write that small. I can write pretty small, but writing in a planner that's like one of those like little pocket ones, I just, I can't make it work. So I like a planner that's bigger, but even if it's a smaller, like medium type size planner, I like when there is enough room and there aren't so many extras that things are cluttered and I can barely fit anything in there. So having enough space to write on all of the pages is really important to me. Now I don't like things to be too cluttered, but one thing I do like is a couple of those extras on the weekly view. So for example, I wouldn't like a planner that had a meal section in my weekly view because ultimately I keep my meal plan on my fridge. I share it with my family so that we're all on the same page about what we're having for dinner. That wouldn't serve me in a planner, but I do like having a little section for the top three or a nice gratitude moment of the day. So I like extras as long as it doesn't become cumbersome or cluttered. Having tabs in a planner is really important. I especially love the Emily Lay tabs because they're so bright, but the day designer also has really nice tabs and there are some other planners with tabs as well. It just helps me get to where I need to go a little bit faster. However, it's not a deal breaker. If a planner doesn't have tabs, it's fine as long as it has one of those like string bookmark type things. As long as I can get to where I'm going, that's what's most important. And lastly, going back to that calendar page, I like when there are very light lines or no lines in each grid. I find it to be a little bit cluttered, it kind of looks a little bit messy, and I prefer it to be pretty neutral and clean looking. So I like on a monthly view when there isn't quite as much so that I can fill those boxes with my schedule, my to-dos, and my activities. So there you have it, some of my top planner features. I know that some of those seem pretty basic, but as I've been looking at planners, not all of those are included with all planners. So. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if there's anything I missed, some of your top planner features, and if you enjoyed this, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.